Hi, I'm Karen Watkins, Editor-in-Chief of Gardening Life magazine. I'm here today with Kim from Gardensupermart.com and we're going to install one of their fabulous rain barrels right here. So Kim, the first thing we have to do is choose an ideal location, correct? We do. So can you tell us what the key components are in a perfect location for a rain barrel? Okay, first off we need a downspout for the rain to drain into the barrel. We need a low traffic area and uh, some place where we can divert the water from the overflow. So Kim, we have to go to our local hardware store and pick up um, some downspout diverters for the rain barrel before we actually hook it up. So what do we have here? We have an aluminum one and also a plastic flexible one, which would probably work better because of our location. We need to have the rain barrel out a bit from the structure. So what tools do we need, Kim, to install our rain barrel? You will need a level to make sure your ground is level, a hacksaw to cut your downspout or tin snips. Okay, so let's get started and actually install this okay. rain barrel. What we need to do first is use the diverter to measure where we need to cut off the downspout. Your rain barrel is going to fill up quickly, so make sure you have one that has an overflow spout. You can attach a hose drip line with larger drilled holes and run it through your garden for instant watering. Um, the reason for all of this is to keep the water from overflowing near your foundation. You just want to make sure that you clean the screen of debris and in the fall before the first frost you empty your rain barrel to about this level so it doesn't topple over and the wind blow it over. Three things to remember when you're hooking up your rain barrel. Choose a level area in your garden. Make sure you have an overflow that is diverted away from your foundation. And remember, before the first frost comes in the fall, empty your rain barrel. Thanks so much, Kim. For more information, you can go to gardensupermart.com.